there are so many reasons to want to randomize a list. Now as teachers, we have a list of students. We want to randomize the roster. We've all used some sort of popsicle stick system to randomly call on students. Well, you can do this with Google Sheets. Or maybe you just want to assign students to a random research topic. Something you can obviously do in Google Sheets. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to randomize. As you can see here, I have a list of student names and I want to randomly call in a student. So I'm going to randomize this range in the data. Now something to know is you can select more than one column if the rows are going to randomize together. It's going to choose a row and any of the matching data within that row will randomize together. So let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead here and take Mason and use the paint can so you can see what I'm talking about. I want Mason Rodriguez to always be Mason Rodriguez and not assign him a random last name. So I'm going to click on number one and I'm going to come down and holding down the shift key so I can click on Robinson here in row 31. So you can see I have selected this range which includes the number for the student on each roster, on the roster, their first name and their last name and they're all together. Now I'm going to come up here to the data menu and you'll see the option to randomize range. That's how easy it is. It is just a menu option right there, randomize range. So randomize range, Now notice again, I have Mason Rodriguez together, and when I randomize it, I still have Mason Rodriguez together. So it is randomizing the rows and keeping the columns matched up together, which is really helpful. The other way I can do that is I have selected my range and I can right click and way at the bottom under view more cell actions, you'll notice that you also have the option to randomize range. So whether or not you right click to randomize range or use the data menu, it's really simple to sort whatever you have in your spreadsheet. So let's see how I can use this tool to assign students to a random group. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a column for what group they're in. Now you might name them by color or some sort of animal name for which group they're in. I'm going to go ahead and just name them like group one. If I'm going to put them in groups of three, I'm going to have three group ones, three group twos, three group threes, three group fours, three group fives. Yes, there is a faster way to do this, right? and group 10. All right, so I'm gonna have 10 groups of three, and I am going to just take the student list, so that's that same range that I wanna choose, where I'm doing the row number and the first name, last name, but notice I am excluding the group in the range, because when I right click and I come down and I view more cell actions, and I choose randomize range, I don't want to scramble what group they're in because that's going to create some chaos. Also, if I do the whole thing, then the students won't randomly be assigned a group, just their group number will move, which doesn't do any good. So I'm going to randomize range, and I can now see I've got Aiden, Zoe, and Joseph Lewis are in group one, and Sophia, David, and Asher are in group two. Let's just try that again. I'm just going to select the range of students with their first and last name. I'm going to do it with the data menu this time so I can randomize range. And now I can see that the students who are in group one are these three, Mia, Sophia, and Olivia. 